Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate you being here. And if you're new to the channel, if you're finding us for that very first time, hey, it's good to have you. You know, please subscribe. Uh, please hit that like button. And to learn more about me and learn more about my company and how we can help take your business that next level, you know, please check out those links below. Now, with that said, let me uh, offer a couple things before we get started. Number one, you know, be sure to sign up, you know, for our free email newsletter uh, so you can receive additional information on how to grow and develop your business. And then number two, you can check out the link below to our website at uh, fmconsulting.net. Uh, we're giving away free access uh, to our gym management playbook. Uh, it's absolutely free, okay, uh, to keep as long as you want, okay. Uh, but this is a perfect tool. This is a perfect course if you're new to the business. Um, if you're struggling, uh, if you're trying to take your business to that next level, you know, it's going to give you all the information uh, that you'll need to really grow and to grow quickly. All right. So go check it out, fmconsulting.net. And so with that said, let's get into our topic today. And it's five tips for starting a new gym. Five tips for starting a new gym. And, you know, right now, you know, there's a lot of that, uh, a lot of that happening uh, across the country. A lot of folks, you know, looking to open new facilities, looking to acquire new facilities. And you folks that are in management and have had a lot of success, you know, this is that natural, you know, next step. And even if you have a gym right now that you own, you're ready to expand, you know, let's review these. Let's make sure we're staying on track. These are some basic fundamentals we want to be mindful of. And so number one, five tips for starting a new gym. Number one, recognize your strengths and weaknesses. Okay, recognize you know what you're good at and what you're not good at. You know, one of the one of the uh, the common things that a lot of folks struggle with is they're not good at marketing or sales. Well, make sure that you surround yourself with someone that is. Okay, don't try to do it yourself if you're not quite you know ready for that. So you know what are your strengths? You know what are your weaknesses? And surround yourself with people that are better than you at what you're asking them to do. Okay, uh, number two. This is a next one's a fairly common error, but number two, start with a simple business plan and grow as needed. Start with a simple business plan and grow as needed. So you know you're going to want a business plan, or at the very least, you know depending on where you're at, you're going to need a plan of action. And one of the common things that I see so often is there's a tendency, particularly when we're doing the new club. There's a tendency to want all the shiny objects. Oh, I love that technology. I love that. That's super cool. I got to have that. What the goal should be here is to keep this as simple as possible. You know, one of the things that I see so often when I'm asked to come in and, and, and get a business turned around is many times it's become too complicated. There's simply too many moving parts to make it work. We want to simplify this. Okay. So when you're doing your business plan, keep it simple. OK, and then grow as needed. You know, let's don't grow too quickly. You know, that's one of the biggest failures of business. We, we have success. We put our foot on the accelerator. We grow too quick. Grow as needed. You know, grow as the numbers allow you to grow. Grow as your people allow you to grow. But keep it simple. Be easy to do business with. Don't make the don't make the operation so complicated that it's even tough for the owner sometimes to, to run it. Um, number three. And a little bit of a balance here as well, but let's focus on something that we have a passion for. Okay, let's focus on something we have a passion for. Now, the, the where I say there should be a balance in here, when you're putting a club in, you're not really putting it in for you. Here's how you like to work out. You're putting this in for your customer. Okay, so we want to remember that. But, you know, focus on something you have a passion for. Okay. You know, do you have a passion for, you know, maybe taking over operations, you know, building new ones, you know, what type facility do you want? What size facility do you want? You know, what's your style going to be? What's your culture going to be? You know, how are you going to brand this? You know, so really determine really what it is that you want and what really, you know, what gets you out of bed in the morning to get you to go do this, but focus on something that you really have that passion for. Number four, Understand your target customer and the existing market. Understand your target customer and the existing market. 
And so let's talk about that a little bit here because um, you're not all things to all people. Okay. That one's a, a challenge. Okay. But understand your target customer and existing market. And so generally your existing market, it's going to be about a three mile radius, depending on you know how long a 15 minute drive time would be, but it's going to be about a three mile radius. And it's going to be about 20% of that population would be expected to be a member. Okay. And that's kind of what it's going to be in a general sense. And one of the problems we run into sometimes is everyone's going after that same 20%, that other 80%, that uncontested market, big opportunities there. Start looking at, hey, where, what is in that uncontested market and how can we start solving problems for them? Uh, the other thing I would talk about here on uh, your understanding your existing market is understand your, your competition. What are they good at? What are they not good at? You know, what is not being brought to the marketplace? You know, what are you doing that's better than everybody else? You know, we're looking for this differentiation you know, what's really going to set you apart from everybody else. Cause now all of a sudden you start having true differentiation and you're getting that word out and you're marketing in part to that uncontested market space. That's pretty powerful. Okay. That can make a big difference for you. And then number five on the five tips, you know, for starting a new gym, don't be afraid to ask for help. Okay. Don't be afraid to ask for help. I mean, you can use this channel, Okay. It's going to give you an awful lot of help. You know, we've got nearly 1200 how to videos on here. I, I had someone who uh, they, they'd messaged me one time and said they'd use this entire channel to build their club. Okay. So if you want to go to that extreme, you could potentially do that. You know, you can contact me direct. You can contact the links below, you know, we're offering a free uh, 45 minute strategy session, you know, happy to chat with you. But let me share this with you. Here, here's the common thing that I see is most folks don't ask for help. And this is how I like to kind of you know, explain this. Most folks, they don't ask for help until the patient's on the operating table. If you're brand new, don't burn through all your cash. Don't, don't, don't do a trial and error kind of a thing. Okay. Let's, let's, let's shorten that learning curve now. So don't be afraid to ask for help. And if you're, you know, in business right now, you know, get help. Don't, well, don't wait for it's too long, uh, before it's too late. Okay. You've got cash flow, you've got revenue coming in. It may not be what you want, but it's still early enough, you know, to really get the results that you want to, but you know, go out there and get help. Okay. I mean, I remember, you know, it was kind of an innocent thing I did. This is back when I very first started, I was in sales, actually, I wasn't doing a new gym at that point. And, uh, and I was sitting there to, at the table talking to all the sales guys there and said, Hey, I'm tired of being dead last in the company, not in that club, in the company. What do I have to do? And one of the guys said, well, Jim, are you serious about that? You really want to do that? And I said, yes. And, you know, he, he tossed up a one and a half inch, you know, three ring binder at me and says, here, you know, go memorize it. And that's really, you know, me asking for help. And that's the answer I got. And I went and did it. Okay. And then even as an owner, you know, I was always seeking out help, you know, seeking out, you know, how are you doing this? How's this being done? Because bear in mind, you want to shorten the learning curve. You know, as the saying goes, if you keep doing what you're already doing, you're going to keep getting what you're already getting. So folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company's Fitness Management and Consulting. I appreciate you being here at the channel today. If you've not yet done so, please subscribe, you know, please hit the like button. And uh, to learn more about me and my company and how we can help take your business to that next level, you know, please check out those links below. And also, as, as a reminder, you know, our, our mission, you know, our focus here on the channel is we want to help as many people as we possibly can. And the easiest way for us to get that word out uh, is with your support by, you know, subscribing to the channel, you know, uh, you know, liking the videos that are giving you value. Uh, we appreciate that to help us, you know, again, expand that audience. And then as a final reminder, you know, go to our website. You can check out the link below fmconsulting.net to gain free access to our gym management playbook, gym management playbook. It's an ideal course. If you're new at this, if you're struggling, uh, you're just getting started, you're trying to go to that next level, you know, this will give you, you know, a host of information uh, to help you put your foot on the accelerator to take your business to a whole new level. So folks, again, my name's Jim Thomas. I appreciate you being here and we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.